Good morning, St. Pius. Today is Tuesday, April 18th, 2023. We're celebrating two birthdays today. Happy birthday in seventh grade to Anthony Mann and in pre-K to Kate Leone. A uh, high of 56 degrees, another chilly day, a little rainy, uh, but don't worry. End of the week, I promise you, our weather will improve. Hot lunch options today, we have chicken nuggets or chef salad. After school clubs, we have art club, math club, second grade book club, and the return of Mighty Kicks. Very exciting. Uh, tomorrow, eighth grade, you guys ready for your big trip to Washington, D.C.? That was one of my favorite memories when I was an eighth grader here, so I wish you guys a wonderful time. Uh, for, for those of us staying here in grades three, five, and seven, you guys will start your ELA testing tomorrow, um, and also our spring pictures will begin tomorrow as well. Remember, our goal is all about keeping our school safe. Uh, one of the best ways to keep our school safe is to do regular lockdown drills. So we'll have our next lockdown drill this morning. Uh, so make sure that we're taking this seriously. Uh, we're being quiet and attentive and listening to the directions that our teachers give during today's lockdown drill. So remember, we're talking all about resurrection stories this week, of course, after Easter. Uh, this is a pretty famous one called The Road to Emmaus. After the resurrection, Jesus appeared to his disciples several times, even though they often did not recognize him. The disciples must have felt sadness, confusion, and frustration in the days following Jesus' death. As two of his disciples, Cleopas and an unnamed disciple, walked to Emmaus, Jesus appeared to them, though they did not recognize him. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Now on that same day, two of them were going to a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem. While they were talking and discussing, Jesus himself came near and went with them, but their eyes were kept from recognizing him. And he said to them, What are you discussing with each other while you walk along? Then Cleopas answered him, Are you the only stranger in Jerusalem who does not know the things that have taken place there in these days? The things about Jesus of Nazareth? who was a prophet mighty in deed and word before God and all people, and how our chief priests and leaders handed him over to be condemned to death and crucified him. Moreover, some women of our group astounded us. They were at the tomb early this morning, and when they did not find his body there, they came back and told us that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who said he was alive. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Think about this today. Even when we are sad, frustrated, or confused like these disciples, look for God admits our pain. And we'll pick up on this story tomorrow. Let us stand in prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Have a great Tuesday, everyone.